Welcome to my apartment hunting series. If you are new here, my name is Tori. I am 25 years old. I live in LA and I love going around and touring apartment buildings. I like to see what you can get for your money, what things are like. We've done everything from downtown LA to Hollywood to Santa Monica in the past. And now we're heading over there again to see what you can get for your money at Pacific Plaza, which is central downtown Santa Monica. It's about a block from the entrance of the Santa Monica Pier. It's overlooking the ocean. It's surrounded by restaurants and shops. Let's get into the pros and cons of this building. Now, as for amenities, there's not really much amenities. It does have a gym though, with a decent amount of equipment and weights, and it's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And if you're thinking about going to this area in general, downtown Santa Monica does not have many buildings with much to any amenities at all. Most of them don't even have a gym space. So technically I see this kind of as a pro, not a con. Now as for the washer and dryers, I realized real quick that that's gonna be kind of a con of this building. Pro is you do have it in the building. Con is it's all operated by cards. It's not inside of the unit and there's only one laundry room that serves about 200 units. And that one laundry room is not really that big for how many people live in the building. Now with all of that said, let's go inside of the apartment and see what they're like. We're gonna see a one bedroom and a studio. Now keep in mind the studio is actually more expensive than the one bedroom, but you'll probably see why when we go into it. But first, the one bedroom. Then what's the square footage on this one? This one is 660. Oh, okay. So are all the kitchens pretty similar? Like appliances and stuff? For the most part, some of them are stainless steel uh, appliances and some of them are white. They actually do have a quite a few tenants who prefer the white appliances still and they'll request them. Oh, this is like a little tiny dishwasher. <laughs> That's cute. But it's a pretty decent amount of counter space. Mm -hmm. And then obviously the views are what you're paying for. <laughs> what floor are we on for this one? We are on the 10th floor. And I do have a um, unit, same exact floor plan um, that is available now. This unit is available now. Um, I have another one that's located on the third floor, but it's facing it, it's facing the hotel, so it's more of a privacy wall. You don't get yeah. view. Yeah, you don't have the view. Oh, there is storage in the front, too. Closet space is my friend, <laughs> so that's pretty nice. Okay. And you have additional storage in the building besides the ones in the unit? Um, we have additional storage that's available. It's located in the parking areas. Okay. Um, some of them are about maybe half the one about this size. Okay. Um, and then some about half. Half. Okay. And how much is storage here? Um, it ranges between about forty to eighty dollars per month. Oh, that's not too bad. But it's also small, so. And are the bedrooms pretty similar sizes on the units you have coming up? Right now, this is the only one I have. Um, well, I do have a corner unit that might possibly be coming up next month. Oh, okay. That is the largest unit we have. I just don't have one to show you today. Oh, okay. So is this the only one you have currently? For the one that I wanted to show, yes. Other than that, I have uh, studios. I have a studio located on the 16th floor with a balcony. Oh, it has a balcony. Mm -hmm. I will have a one bedroom that has a balcony available March 11th. It's gonna be on the second floor. Um, second, that again. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, but it, it has such a beautiful view. You have the palm trees, you see people coming and going, you see the water. 
Now, after going inside of the one bedroom, I think it gives you a good idea of the age of the building. It is an older building. It's something to keep in mind and it is reflective in the price because stuff on the same street right next to that building is going to cost you a lot more money than this building is because it is an older building. They are going through a renovation right now, but it does not include the interior of the units as of now. So... It's like you're getting white appliances, you're getting tile countertops, but you're getting a decent amount of storage. There's multiple closet areas, decent counter space. Now we're gonna make our way to a higher floor and see a studio apartment. I decided to see it because she mentioned there was a balcony and I just, I had to see what the balcony unit was like and no regrets because you just, let's go see it. In this unit, we never still need to do like that. Okay. I was gonna say it's a pretty good size, but I remember like there's not a bedroom that goes along with this. So this would be the area. Oh, but the balcony is such a big size. No wonder the price. It does go a little bit higher than four thousand. Oh. What would you say are your main rules of balconies? Like, what are you allowed to have and not? Um, really, you know, I think the biggest one is like no grills. Yeah, unfortunately, my building's the same one. Umbrellas, like large umbrellas, so it doesn't fly off the balconies. Okay. Or you can just off the coast. That makes sense. Sorry, I don't want to get you in it. So, how many of the units actually have like stainless steel appliances instead of the white? Oh, okay. It just kind of just hit or miss. At least this fridge is. Is this fridge bigger? I think it's big. Well, it seems shorter but wider. <laughs> but oh, is the, oh, there's not a dishwasher in this one. That's good to know. And I'm just gonna sleep around this way. Still pretty decent closet sizes. one room instead of oh, but the balcony is amazing but you said you might have a one bedroom that would have a balcony it's on the second floor. oh that's a second floor one okay but all the parking is valet and it does seem like it gets a bit busy down here so this is the front doors right here so this is what you see when you walk outside of the building it's like a pretty little front entrance there's a salon in here. There's the entrance. It goes all the way up here. There's a little bike shop right here. You are paying for a location, 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 and it can't get much better than that. So right down here, there's restaurants. There's the shopping area. And right across is the ocean. Doesn't really get much better than that. So that studio is more expensive, but it's on a higher floor. The views are amazing. The sunlight pouring in fed my soul because it was a gross day and there was still so much sun coming in. It would probably make your AC bill horrible. I also didn't check to see if there was AC in the building. I'll put that on the screen if they have or not have that. I did not even ask. Probably should have. It's something to keep in mind that you might not remember when you tour buildings. Not everybody has AC. And those units had such good sunlight, especially that studio apartment. Then you want to know if you have AC and you're also going to keep in mind that the AC bill is going to be kind of expensive. Now it is time for me to head home and you to wait for the next video. I do tour videos all the time so let me know the next area you want me to go. Someone requested a newer video in Santa Monica so here I am testing out another place and please 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 hit that like and subscribe button down below. I post a new video every single Wednesday so have a great rest of your morning, evening, night, whatever it is for you. I'll see you Wednesday.